Anyway, good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is uh, my first podcast. I haven't even named it yet, so we're just gonna go with my first podcast. This is a mock podcast. I got my sister here, FA. You know, um, she's this is actually her camera. She lent it to me, so I'm very grateful for her for that. So that's why I made her my first person to shout her out. So like, you know, <laughs> wherever this be going, you know, wherever this goes, you know, you know. Anyway, that's another thing. <laughs> But that's just hopeful thinking. But regardless, anyway, I got Effie here today. Mm. Say hi. What's popping? Wow, that's so fake, bro. That's not fake. That's what's how I, popping? That's, that's how I greet people. Is that how you walk around greeting people? I'm like, what's popping? What's kicking? What's, really? what's ganging? Like, yeah. What's what's so, whatever? What's whatever? So you're ganging now. No, I'm not so, ganging. I'm just I'm just saying like, what's popping? Bro, she's capping, bro. I'm not capping. You yeah, don't. You're you not know, around me 24 yeah, the seven. The moment you first record, you people don't start know cap. my life. Okay, I don't even want to know your life. To be there honest, you go. I have enough trauma. Okay, that's that's fine. Okay, so anyway, I, what are we going to talk about today? Like, what is there to talk about with you? You came here, you didn't plan I nothing. I swear, I didn't plan nothing. This is off the blue, my G. I don't know that. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> okay. You know, actually, I remember now. I remember now. Okay, what we were going to talk about was. Like, okay, what first inspired you to get, like, a camera? Like, that because this is, like, a thousand dollar camera, isn't it? Like, yeah. And people ain't got a thousand dollars. This is coronavirus time, people. <laughs> people don't have a thousand dollars just lying around like this. You know what I mean? Mm. But this one, she went out of her way and bought this thousand dollars. No, but the thing is, what I did was, because I know I don't have a thousand dollars to just be mm. spending on anything, mm. I borrowed the money, mm. but then, um, not from, like, after pay or whatever like mm. from an actual person which shout out to her she knows who she is i'm not gonna like call yeah. her out but, but you I are from you're her. a1 you're i'm a real telling friend. you she's a real borrowing real... a sierra leonean person Excuse money me? yeah let me finish this my is madness let me finish <laughs> so i borrowed it from her but then i had an arrangement with her i paid off with okay. her every time i got paid okay. and eventually it's all... and you actually stick to her yeah. you, you see that yeah i paid it off and sometimes i do like multiple payments and sometimes i'd forget but she'd mm. remind me because my brain is mush, hmm. but it, it's done now. You should have scared her. Mm -hmm. Anyway, at least you did that. And how long did it take you to repay it back? I don't know. Maybe mm. like a couple fortnights, because I get paid fortnightly. Okay, but that's good though. Definitely a couple fortnights. Fuck, you see, that's how it all began. And what do you primarily use this like for anyway? Like, I use it for YouTube. So you oh, do YouTube pictures. too? I do YouTube. Well, you can do your shout out. Get your shout out in. Um, <laughs> get your shout out too. You're on YouTube yeah. and you watch. You know, you want to subscribe to a small channel and help mm. us. Uh, just small help us channel. Out. This help one. Help us out. She's the next Oprah Winfrey, bro. <laughs> Why are you lying? I'm the next Oprah Why are you I'm lying. telling you. He's People lying. don't understand, yeah? He's lying. This one, lying. she's going to inspire all these young girls. I'm but telling you're lying. you. This girl, she's my role model, yeah? But you're lying. She's my Why are you lying? Like, you never say that to me, but to the camera, you... Wow, that's, that's, that's crazy. That's the camera. That's the other people. Anyway, if you, you wanna, <laughs> if you wanna support a small channel, my um my YouTube mm -hmm. name is Effy Lola. So that's E F F Y L O L A, no space. Link that to all your little sisters. If you want betterness for them, if you want growth, if you want development, <laughs> if you want it? health, if you want, if you, if you want, want betterness, if you want to see. If lawyers, you want to see a clown, if you want to see lawyers come out of your family, clown. follow this channel. Clown. If you want to see lawyers and doctors come out of your family, follow this girl. You know, if you want to see the other ones, we will not name them, but you know now. Anyway. Cap. Regardless. Okay. Cap. <laughs> but that's fine. Continue. Uh, Continue. So wait. Hey, okay. So you got it. So your primary use is YouTube. What's your YouTube channel about? You educate these people. My YouTube channel. Um. Mm. Well, at first when I. If you watched me before, mm. it was mostly about like makeup and just everyday kind of thing. Mm. But ever since I've like put on my hijab, I've kind of deleted all my videos. Mm. I'm going to start fresh. It's basically going to be about the same thing, but uh, it's going to be more advice as well. Because I feel like mm. I have a lot to, to say. say. You got a story. Well, mm. guess what? I'm going to get the first story. No, you're not. <laughs> That's no, why this channel started. I get, a, I get the exclusive story. Why, okay, like okay. why are you the way okay, that you okay, are? Well, let's go back to the makeup, yeah? Okay. Okay, tell me, like, what goes into makeup? Because um, I used to be one of those ignorant lads, you know, being like, makeup is yeah, yeah, yeah. But then, guess what? I had my missus pull up on me and she was like, yo, bro, do, try to do your makeup. Try to do makeup on yourself. And I was like, easy peasy, bro. You know, like, <laughs> I know. I know. I tried to put on some foundation and shit. And I started realizing this shit is... It's a it's technique. It's difficult. It's a skill. So, so tell me about makeup. So like okay, so like so like what like how how do you start even like how how would you start? Let's see you say see my face here. Yeah, how mm -hmm. like how would you make me up? What kind of you shit? just start? That's the thing. The thing with makeup is mm -hmm. you cannot learn it in a day. You, can't learn it. you cannot. Yeah. Like 
unless you're some like really skilled person who yeah, really like picks up, yeah, like a genius, like a genius or, yeah, or something yeah. where you pick up things really easily. Mm -hmm. But you cannot learn makeup overnight. It's kind of like trial and error. Mm -hmm. For well, for me personally, it was trial and error, and also watching other people do it. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, when you watch other people do it, they're doing it on their face. Mm -hmm. And that's another thing you need to know about makeup. Different, different face, face shapes yeah. and different shades of skin uh, mm. and different skin textures. Mm. So what are the, All of that plays into what, having the perfect oh, sorry, makeup. This, this is like pretty much makeup for idiots, mm. but, you know. <laughs> but um, what are the like different kinds of face shapes? Like what are they? Like, let's There's say, like oval, yeah. round, mm. square. Some mm. people have a more defined face. Mm. Um, that's more... Like what does defined mean? It's like they've got like really strong features where they've okay. got the really um striking cheekbone, mm. the really striking jawline, and you're kind of like, damn. So what are you trying to like? Okay, let's say from because obviously you have different clients and they have their own what they want. Right. But like, are you like let's say in your like opinion, like let's say you have a face, yeah. What and like you have the choice to make it however you want to make it. What are you trying to like? What are you trying to like aim for? What kind of look do you want? When like for mm, you. I've been told mm. that when I do makeup on people, mm. the reason why they like it is because it's not so much like mm. really, really. It doesn't hide their face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they can still see themselves in it, but mm. they just see that it's enhanced. Like yeah. it, it's it's a really, which I don't know. It just mm. makes me feel good. Mm. But they're like they don't feel like. It's when they look in the mirror, out. like it's not their yeah, face. Just when, an enhanced version. Yes, yeah, they just they just like they like it because. Mm. It's the glam that they wanted, mm -hmm. but they still see their face in the glam. So mm -hmm. it's not covered up. It's not like we've tried to conceal everything. It's more mm -hmm. we've tried to enhance what you already have, mm -hmm. sort of thing. Yeah, so that's, that's what, what you, I aim for. So you aim for just enhancing what you have. Yeah, I don't like to mm -hmm. like. You don't. You don't. You don't want to. You don't want to completely cover the person up. Yeah, you but that's the thing as well. Makeup yeah. artists have different styles. They'll yeah, be but like, that's your style. They'll be yeah. like um, artistry. They'll be like mm -hmm. special effects. Glam, That's glam. True. There's different types of makeup. Yeah, like, That's just my style. I saw, I saw this girl on Snapchat. You know, I ain't proving or anything. People don't get any ideas. I'm Probably just, is. I'm just, uh, if Probably I am, is. What about it? No, <laughs> no, no. Okay. I was just doing the normal tap tap shit on Snapchat, and then mm -hmm. it's like I saw this girl, but she does really artistic ones. Like she does um, she doesn't do like the like you know as you say, it's like you know trying to just like um enhance like their already existing features. Or like whatever, but she's like put like I don't know like something like the avatar. Or she'll be doing See, tiger shit. Those are like special like, effects. Yeah. I wish yeah. I'm trying to like learn that, but yeah. that's gonna take a while. Yeah, you well this time. It's like, what what else do you have to do but get better? You know? That's what I'm <laughs> saying. But it's just that's what I'm trying to like get across. Like there's mm. different yeah, styles yeah, yeah, for yeah, different yeah. artists. Nah, but that's cool. Shit. So makeup. So now, okay, now coming from there. Now you said you what's to call it. You went to advice. So how the hell did this happen? So when did you become from a makeup artist to now Oprah Winfrey's? <laughs> what, 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 what? Like that transition. That seems like a very big change. That seems like a very so big giving, change. Giving advice. Yeah. Like what? what? I think it's like mm. I finally started to listen to myself when I give other people advice, mm. and I'm like, damn, this shit kind of makes sense. Wow. It kind of clicks. Mm. It kind of connects. And have you seen the that? math is mathing. Mm. <laughs> so, and then I was like, but that's the thing. It's hard for me to like sit in front of a camera mm. and advice on like, but because I don't know what topics to advise on. Mm. Usually, I kind of play off of what someone gives me. Mm. So that's why I haven't started with my channel because I don't know how to sit and just start yeah. the advice. Like I usually roll off of what's given to me. Okay, let's say okay, let's say I do come. Okay, for instance, because now you're my one, so you have to give advice now. Because I'm gonna, I need, uh -uh. To, I need to profit off your knowledge. Oh, you know? This is how African families <laughs> work. We must profit off you. This is a test, bro. <laughs> like, okay, but it's not a test. It's just what it mm -hmm. is. I'm just saying it has to be right or wrong. But okay, let's say I'm. Okay, let's say I have a problem with I don't know. Um, let's say okay, for instance, is this I'm, a multiple choice question. Let's just say or? I'm a what's it called? I'm right now in a abusive relationship like i feel like emotionally like my partner's distant from me like they don't show me the affection like the time that i want you know what i mean and i came with that to you and i'm like oh i feel like as if like let's say this guy i was dating me and him or this guy girl whatever the hell it is we're dating it's like we started off he was really close we were like binding we're connecting we're loving and shit mm -hmm. but then i don't know over time it's been like three months and then now we're like I don't know, he's kind of like acting a bit like not messaging me as much 
not calling me as much, not talking to me as much. Like, where, like, what would be your advice to that to that well, young girl or guy? Out I'd here? start my my first question to them would be, have you communicated that to them? Hmm. That's such a good point. Because if you That's have such it, a good point, man. you cannot. The thing is, mm. people really need to hold themselves. Mm. People need to humble themselves. You cannot mm. expect a normal human being to just kind of pick up vibes. Mm. Like I know vibes are there, mm. but they some people do not have the intellect to just kind of pick up on like, oh, you know, this person's not feeling okay. You know what I mean? You need to be able to open your mouth. Mm. You need to be mature enough to open your mouth mm. and be like. This is how I feel. Save this is how chest. you're making me feel. Say it with your chest. Um, exactly. <laughs> it's basically that. Say it with your chest. You mm. can't just be like bitter, like, oh, I can't believe he doesn't understand. I can't mm. believe he doesn't. That's immature. Like, you cannot expect. This person has his whole life mm. that he's going through. You know what I mean? I get what you People mean. got. You are not the center of somebody's universe. Bro. There's so many things going on around them. This there is are resonating. so many things going on around this them. Is you don't understand. This is resonating. You need to be able to communicate that, mm. you know, this is what you did. This is how it made me feel. I don't know if that was your intention, but this is how it made me feel. And then you, if your partner is truly willing to work on that relationship, they are they will be more than happy to sit down with you and communicate this is um actually this wasn't my intention. This is what was going through my head at the time, but I will be able, like, I'll work on it because I know it affects you in this way. Mm. Well, it's funny you say that because, like, I have that, like, same feeling, like, as in sometimes, because I feel like, I don't know, I become a bit, like, less emotionally aware personally because mm. I think I'm just so, like, as I said, like, love and relationship is no longer, like, a sense of priority. Like, it's like a priority, but it's like, I'm so driven by other goals and stuff and I'm working on so many other things that sometimes it might come across as like I found like let's say you know my girl like I'll be like I would not notice stuff you know what I mean like I would not notice things you know mm. like as in before when I was just thinking about that I would notice things but like so now that I'm like okay I'm thinking like oh I gotta do this 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 and I'm thinking it all for us but at the same time it makes me a bit I feel like maybe guys even we can get a bit like we're not as emotionally aware like you know sometimes like because for us we'd be like just like Oh, we just gotta get the bag. I don't, I don't think we just it's. Gotta get the bag I don't think shit. it's necessarily a no. gender-based no. thing. I think right. it can affect mm. really just anybody. Um, probably the statistics say it's most likely the male ge- demographic, but I don't think it's a gender-based mm. thing. Oh, I don't know. A lot. Of, I know a lot of my females that are, are emotionally my, my, unaware. The niggas that I know, these guys are emotionally clueless. <laughs> let me <laughs> give you an example clueless. of like, you know, what? <laughs> like, clueless. Let me give know. you an example of what it's like. Mm. Oh, this is important to me, but it's not like yeah, yeah, it's yeah, not yeah, like yeah. you. It's yeah, just not even on yeah, your radar. Let's thing. say you're with somebody. Yeah. Like it's fresh. It's new, mm. and the person um says, "Oh, call me when you get home." Yeah. And you get home and you're tired, obviously. Yeah. So you're like, oh, psh, they won't mind. I'm just gonna go to bed. Yeah. You wake up and they've rang you like a couple times, Damn, and you call so... them back and they're like, you said you would Ooh. call me, and the person's like, but I'm tired. Yeah. I wanted to sleep. In your mind, you're thinking, I need to sleep. That yeah. call is not that important to that person. You said you would call, and they're basically saying your word. I trusted you on your word. Oh my like God. you said you were gonna do it, and you didn't. Yeah. And that's how, like, little yeah, things like yeah, that chip yeah. away at trust. Like, they it chips away. Because it's like, basically, you lied. You're thinking it's oh, not really a lie. Damn, though. you lied. Yeah, exactly. It's, you're that's, thinking it's not really a lie. I just wanted to sleep. But they're thinking, like, much. it's a lie. That's too much. It's just the that's, different ways know, the brain... Like, but you know like, what? I understand what you're coming from. Mm. But I think, like, for instance, you know how, like, that thought processing work right mm. there for you? It's like, that's just goes to show, like, if you did not communicate to the person. I think it goes back to what you were saying before about communication. Because, like... Cause like, it was escalating, but then you escalated it to like you were lying, and I'm like, whoa. That's the but, thing. But, but I'm I'm like, the other person though. No, 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 no. But I know some people actually do think like that. You know, mm-hmm. I've had like I've had mm-hmm. I've, a lot I've, of people do I've think I've like been, that. I've been a part of I that. I know. And I've been like, and once I've been a part of that, I've been in both sides of that situation. I've been like the one that had not received the phone call, and I've been the one that what's it called didn't give the phone call Mm. and it was like and it's kind of like funny saying that i feel like most of the time just as you said communication resolved that and i feel like coming back to what you were saying it's like pretty much i think you gotta like before you go to like number 10 just ask questions yeah because i'm telling you asking questions can be like let's say be like oh like why didn't you think it's like you just be like i'm tired be like and then when you ask questions i feel like maybe following it it de-escalates yeah and then also following it up with maybe like Instead of accusing, saying, you know, 
oh, blah, 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 you know, come as you say, be like, oh, well, I was worried about you. You know what I mean? And like, make it be you more thing. You can phrase it a you different way. You can phrase it. And I, and I realized, like, phrasing. Phrasing? Uh, bro. Phrasing be ruining and building Phrasing. Phrasing is. Everything. I've had to tell girls the worst news, but just the way you say it can honestly make or break a relationship. Because mm-hmm. sometimes. But that's the thing with relationships as well. People like mm-hmm. don't understand that it's important to establish boundaries yeah. before you do enter a relationship. Yeah. You need to have that conversation with, like, if you're trying to have that um, understanding before mm-hmm. you go into too deep in this relationship. Mm-hmm. It's good to have that com- conversation. I know people think, oh, it's awkward. You know, yeah. let's just let's just vibe. Mm-hmm. You know what a vibes uh, like? No, I you are allowed. <laughs> love me. I love you. Stop. Love you. Stop. Okay. 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 Sorry. <laughs> you are allowed to have that conversation where you're kind of like, mm-hmm. this is what I'm comfortable with. Mm-hmm. This is not what I'm. I'm not comfortable with this. Mm-hmm. This is what I expect. Mm-hmm. So you can kind of like go into the relationship knowing, okay, this person expects this from me. Right. If I don't give this, obviously it has to be reasonable expectations. Mm-hmm. And if I don't well, give this, then I have no reasonable reason. expectation. Like, Ooh, that's a good okay. one. That's a good that's question. Yeah, What's a reasonable expectation? I expect you, for me, how I would phrase it. Okay, like, you, know, you know what? Let's make it simpler. What's a reasonable expectation for you? That's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, make it I would say I expect you to operate on respect. Okay. So well, basically, that means yeah. before you do something, is it going to be disrespectful to me? How am I supposed to know if it's going to be disrespectful? Because I would have already like had that conversation. This is what I consider disrespectful. Okay. Well, this, this, okay, this. Okay, okay, okay. So I'd be like. What I consider disrespectful is... Mm. Hmm. Give me like three examples of disrespect. I say don't go to a party because of X, Y, Z. If mm. I give you a logical reason why I don't want you to go somewhere, mm. and you go there, and then you make it an even bigger thing by hiding mm. that you went there, that's disrespectful. Mm. If you go... Oh, let me give you an example. Oh my god, I'm trying to think. This is not... This is not... Yeah, this is not... Yeah, okay, well that's yeah. my first example. Okay, so first... Okay, let's say like it's a party and... My second it. example... Yeah. Is when you know a certain person doesn't like me and likes to talk crap about me mm. and shit on my name. Okay. But you make it your mission to befriend that person. Okay, so being friends that with me. That is disrespect. People be like, some people begin to say, but that's true. You can't be, you can't be in a, you can't tell me you love me and then be friends with my enemies. Are it's, you mad? It's not even ah. that. It's like I get it. If they're yeah. like, hi, hi, that's yeah, fine. Of course, you know, that's fine. Is that? But for you to make it your crazy. life's mission to just be like, oh but my God, honest, how's your mother? How's your father? How I'm, you doing? What are you doing today? I'm, I'm, I'm a bit selfish here. Yeah. I'm the extra selfish. I don't even want you to be like, hi, hi, to people. This is why, honestly, yeah, I prefer girls that are like walk around with bad faces, man. You know, because you know what that shows me? It shows me they don't like any, like, it means like they don't fuck with human beings, bro. That's the kind of one I like. That's People the one who I'm are like, just friends, yes. everybody scares ah, me. Nah, bro. they're creepy, bro. They scare me. How can, even, how can you get yeah. along with everybody? How? I can barely get along with myself, man. Like, <laughs> like that means you're basically showing different faces to every I know, single person. Because you have person. to. Because not everyone's the same. To. Some people, you gotta find your tribe. You gotta find people who you vibe with. You can't I vibe with like man. three people. And the thing is, I used to mm. vibe with more people mm. until I found out what type of people they were. Yeah. Then I was like, X name. To be honest, I, what I have is, I call it, like, honestly, I have, like, maybe, like, three to five main friends. And then the rest, I, I consider them acquaintances. I don't so even I, have acquaintances. I, 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 no, but, like, trust me, you need acquaintances. Why I say acquaintances, like, because, like, like, for instance, it's like, you don't walk around this world all by yourself and shit. You know what I mean? Like, we, you need some, like, civil discourse. You know what I mean? Some people, like, maybe you hit that up. That's your mechanic guy. You know what I mean? Some person, you, you hit that. You know so what I mean? Black. What do you mean? Some people, you hit that person up. That person is the person that's, like, you know, helps you with your taxes and shit, bro. You know what I mean? Sometimes you have those friends who be... So transactional you, relationship. Not even transactional, but, like, you have some friends who be, like... It's like, you, you, you never have a serious conversation with them in your life. But this is the person you go to when you just want to laugh your ass off. Mm-hmm. Act stupid. Turn off your brain for a second. You know what I mean? I see your point. So you have those kind of things. But then you have those ones where it's like, you just be you. You know, it's just, it's you. It's not your family. It's not your thing. It's just you, you know. I see your point. So, I see yeah. your point. I see your point. Anyway, this was just a mock interview with... Interview, interview. <laughs> well, podcast, podcast. It was supposed to be a podcast. So I guess you know what the fact that you didn't feel like I interviewed you means that it went well because it was supposed, to, sure it was supposed to be like this. I didn't say that. But thank I did you not guys for coming in. This is my sister FA. Please check out her channel. Where is it at again? In Lingo? YouTube. 
Yep, obviously, duh. I <laughs> say <laughs> YouTube, but I mean, I continue like YouTube. But oh, it's on YouTube. The name is um. So basically, since you're doing the editing, I'll just get you to put the name. Here. Okay, I'll put it there. Just put it here. Yeah. E F F Y L O L A. And subscribe. <laughs> Thank you, lads. Peace out. Much love. This was odd. This, this was awesome. <laughs>